So you've probably heard of the self-help guru say that self-discipline is key and motivation should never exist. You shouldn't rely on it. You've probably even heard me say that. That's very true. <laughs> but the biggest question of all, how do we actually build self-discipline? Because discipline doesn't just come overnight. It takes, not years, but it takes quite a lot of work. It takes quite a lot of planning and it takes a necessary mindset, a unique mindset that I'm going to share with you in this video today. I'm not gonna bullshit you. This is the only guide you will ever need to continue to stay disciplined. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a simple mindset trick, mindset hack you can use whenever you don't feel like doing something you know you need to do. It works 99% of the time, and that's from experience. So stay to the end of this video if you want to hear that, but I'm not here to waste your time. Let's get straight into it. But before we do, one thing, if you haven't yet, hit that red subscribe button because I'm helping you live your best life through the development of your mind. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, what is self-discipline? It's simply building habit. It's simply doing something over a consistent period of time. That may be once a week, that may be twice a day. The periods can range but it's simply doing something consistently. For this video, I'm gonna use the gym for example. That's the habit I'm going to assume that somebody, me, you, whoever, is not consistent with that wants to be consistent with it. So the gym is the example for this video. Now, I want you to imagine your life in four quadrants. There's four quadrants of your life, parts of your life. So quadrant one, is the necessary things like brushing your teeth twice a day that may be a necessity for you a necessity might be eating dinner and lunch and breakfast that may be a necessity for you you do it every single day without even thinking about not doing it they're necessities quadrant one waking up every morning now quadrant three we'll come back to quadrant two later quadrant three are the things that you do on a daily basis that aren't really urgent. Like getting up in the morning to go to work is urgent. You kind of need to do it to put food on the table. But quadrant three things are like, you know, maybe answering too many phone calls a day, talking to a friend longer than you should really should. I'm not saying to never talk to your friends, no way, but sometimes, or well, maybe it's you, uh, you talk to your friends too long. So it kind of wastes your time, kind of just no chat going on. That may be a quadrant three thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it kind of wastes your time. There are necessities for your life. So maybe talking to your friends three hours a day can be gut down to half an hour. The other things, quadrant three. Necessary, but not really necessary. Quadrant four, are the things that just aren't necessary at all. This is watching too much television. This is playing too many video games. This is spending too much time social, on social media. This is maybe pornography. Of course, everything in moderation, but if the quadrant four activities are making up most of your day, that's probably not the best option. You shouldn't really be filling up at least 50% of your day with instant gratifying activities like spending time on social media. They don't really get you anywhere. They're quadrant four activities. Now, I hope you remembered those one, three, and four. Now let's go back to quadrant two because this quadrant is the thing that you're struggling with. These are the things that aren't necessarily important right now. Going to the gym isn't really necessary today, is it? Maybe I'm young, I have no health issues, but what if you consistently exercise every single day? Where would that lead you? A much healthier body, a much healthier mind. So the quadrant two activities are the things you don't really want to do right now, but at the back of your minds, you know are really good for you. They're the quadrant two activities, the things that you put off on a consistent basis. And that's what you're struggling with. And that's why you're watching this video, most likely. So, what we need to do, there's two ways you can go about this. Personally with me, I like to put my quadrant two activities in quadrant one. That's creating YouTube videos. I put my quadrant, I put creating YouTube videos in quadrant one. I put creating TikToks in quadrant one. I put working out in quadrant one. They're the things I do every single day that aren't very necessary right now, but they pay off in the long run. Or you can keep the quadrant two activities, exercising for example, 
in quadrant two, it's very similar to putting in them in quadrant one, but you just label them as need to do now or need to do today instead of, yeah, I might do it later. You know what I mean? You get what I mean by this? It's, sim it's very similar. You either label quadrant two as need to do now or you put the quadrant two activities in quadrant one, the urgent things. I got this idea of the seven habits of highly effective people, just so you know. Now quadrant four, if this is taking up the majority of your day, you need to cut it out, especially if you want to achieve your goals. If you have no goals, no ambition, that's okay. That's completely fine. And maybe you want to indulge in those activities. That's okay, but if you want to achieve something, Quadrant four activities should be last. Business before pleasure. If you watch my seven rules of self-development, that was number one. Business before pleasure. Quadrant one and quadrant two activities before quadrant three and quadrant four. That's the rule you have to follow. Now, Jack, I get all this, but how the fuck do I actually build self-discipline? How the hell do I actually do it? You must do what you want to do or do what you need to do. Jim. For example, I don't care if you don't like it, but if you desire the result, you must do it like you love it. In the gym, when you're hitting those bicep curls, you don't really feel like hitting right now. Imagine where it would lead you in the future. If your why isn't strong enough, you're not going to get anywhere. The person who loves walking will walk further than the person who desires the situation, the result, the outcome. They will always walk further because they enjoy the process. That's why so many people go to steroids and then it kind of fucks up their whole life because they desire the result more than the process and more than the journey, more than the present moment. You must stay present and you must take it a day at a time. That's how you stay disciplined. You do it like you love it because you want the result because if you didn't want the result, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing anyway and have a strong why behind doing it, simply put. And you will see when you build self-discipline, your motivation will keep coming. Because that self-discipline, hitting the gym six times a week, if you keep doing this for two, three weeks in a row, you will be addicted to the feeling it gives you. That's why pornography is a very big addiction nowadays, especially for the younger generation. Because they're addicted to the dopamine it provides. But when you work out, you get dopamine too. And you get addicted to that dopamine. That's the way you stay disciplined. Time for the mindset hack. If you ever feel yourself, for example, going to the gym. Let's say you want to work out after school at 4 p.m. And you have no energy at all. You just don't feel like going. No, I'm not going today. When you're in this type of mindset, don't say to yourself, oh, I have to go to the gym. I have to get an hour workout in. No. Put it down to, into little steps. Step one, take your shirt off. Step two, put your gym shirt on. Step three, get all the other clothes on. Step four, pack your bag. Step five, get in the car. Step six, drive to the gym. Step seven, get out of the car. Step seven, step eight, step eight, lock your car. Step nine, walk inside. Step 10, set everything up. Take it step by step. And if you've got to step 10 and you don't want to hit the gym anymore, go home. Simple. Do something for five minutes and if you still don't want to do it, leave it. If you're writing an essay for school, for example, an assignment for school, and you really don't want to do it, sit down. Tell yourself to sit down and write 10 words. And if I've written those 10 words and I, and I don't want to write the rest of the essay, I'm not going to write it. Simple. But make sure you write 10 words, 10 good words, not just and I, whatever the fuck. Actually start the essay like you were starting it. And then if you don't want to write any more, then you can fuck off and go and do something else. That's a simple mindset hack for you that is going to pretty much change your whole entire life. Because again, when we get attached to something, those 10 words will trigger a dopamine receptor. And you want more and more and more of that. Addiction. In a good way. That's all I have to tell you. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.